हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो सो आज हम चैप्टर नाइन्थ फोर्स एंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन स्टडी करेंगे इन इंग्लिश एंड इन हिंदी आई विल मेड द वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो आवर फर्स्ट इज नाउ स्टार्ट द चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी डिस्क्राइब दैट मीन ओके वी विल चलाएंगे इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी डिस्क्राइब दैट द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट अलोन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स पोजिशन वेलोसिटी एंड एक्सलेशन वी सो दैट सच अ मोशन कैन बी यूनिफॉर्म और नॉन यूनिफॉर्म वी हैव नॉट येट डिस्कवर्ड वट कोज द मोशन वट कोज द मोशन कैन बी यूनिफॉर्म और नॉन यूनिफॉर्म वी हैव नॉट येट डिस्कवर वट कोज द मोशन वाई डज द स्पीड ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट चेंज विथ टाइम डू ऑल मोशन रिक्वायर्ड अ कोज इफ सो वट इज द नेचर ऑफ दिस कोज इन दिस चैप्टर वी सेल मेक अ अटैम्प टू क्वेश्चन ऑल सच एज क्यूरियस फॉर मैनी सेंचुरीज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ मोशन एंड इट्स कोज हैड पजल्ड साइंटिस्ट एंड फिलोसफर्स अ बॉल ऑन द ग्राउंड वैन गिव अ स्मॉल हिट डज नॉट मूव फॉर एवर सच ऑब्जर्वेशन सजेस्ट दज द रेस्ट इन द नेचर स्टेट नेचुरल स्टेट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट दिस दिस रिमेन्स द बेनिफिट यूटेंसिल्स ग्लियो ग्लीली एंड इसाइक न्यूटन develop an entry different approach to understand motion so you understand the motion next you can see the example like the trolley move the direction we push it when we push the trolley when we give the force so it is moving when we are opening the cupboard we are giving the force when it is opening when we are hitting a ball so the ball goes next is in our everyday life we observe that some effort is required to put a stationary objects into motion or to stop a motion object we ordinarily expressed this has a muscular effect and say that we must push or hit or pull on an object to change its size no to change its state of motion and the concept of the force is based on his push hit or pull let us now pon about a force what is it in the friction no one has seen tested or felt a force however we shall see or fans the effect of a force it can only be explained by describing what happens when a force is applied to an object push and hit pull you are seeing the push hit and pull yani push karna kisi ko when we kick anyone we push him and hit him when we hit hit him in the river then he will be die and pull pull means there is one box we pull it to the another stage object in the motion they move because we make a force act on them force you study in the earlier class you are also familiar with the fact that a force can be used to change the magnitude or velocity of an object to make the object move faster or slow or to change its direction or motion we also know that a force can change the shape and size hame pata hai ki force शेप एंड साइज भी चेंज कर सकते हैं अगर जैसे आप देख सकते हैं स्प्रिंग है हम स्प्रिंग को दबा देंगे तो ये पूरी हो जाएगी जैसे बोल रहे हैं हम इसको पुश कर रहे हैं पुश पुश कर रहे हैं तो इसकी शेप चेंज हो रही है नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट बैलेंस एंड अनबैलेंस फोर्स सो इन नाइन पॉइंट थ्री फिगर फर्स्ट वी सी द नाइन पॉइंट थ्री फिगर यू यू कैन सी द टू फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ वुडन ब्लॉक y and x okay 9.3 so on a wooden block wooden block as shown if you apply a force on pulling the string x the block being to be moved to the right similar if we pull the string string y 
the block move to the left but it it if the block is pulled both the side with equal force the block will not move जैसे एक ब्लॉक है अगर हम इस साइड से एक्स और वाई दोनों एक साथ फोर्स लगाएंगे तो वो बॉक्स हिलेगा भी नहीं वहीं पे रहेगा द ब्लॉक बींग टू मूव एट द राइट सिमिलरली इफ वी पुल द स्ट्रिंग वाई अगर हम वाई की तरफ से लगाएं द ब्लॉक मूव इन द लेफ्ट वो लेफ्ट में पुस होगा बट इफ द ब्लॉक इज पुल्ड फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड्स विद इक्वल फोर्स द ब्लॉक विल नॉट मूव सच फोर्स आर कोल्ड बैलेंस फोर्स एंड डू नोट चेंज द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ लेट अस कंसिडर्ड अ सिचुएशन इन विच टू अपोजिट फोर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट मैग्नीट्यूड पुल द ब्लॉक्स इन दिस कोज द ब्लॉक वुड बिगेन टू मूव इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द ग्रेटर ग्रेटर फोर्स Thus, the two forces are not all balanced, and the unbalanced force act in the direction the block moves. This suggests that an, an unbalanced force acting on an object brings in the motion. Now we will explain it now. Suppose कहिए कि x और y दोनों एक साथ इस पर फोर्स लगा रहे हैं तो ये बॉक्स नहीं लेगा और अगर इस पर x फोर्स लगाएगा तो ये y की तरफ जाएगा और अगर इस पर y फोर्स लगाएगा तो ये x की तरफ जाएगा एंड इफ बोथ विल इक्वल फोर्स फ्रॉम द बोथ साइड सो इट विल नॉट गो एनी वे आप समझ गए होंगे जैसे मैं एग्जाम्पल से समझाता हूँ नीचे वाले में अच्छे से समझ आएगा वट हैपन वेन सम चिल्ड्रन ट्राई टू पुल अ बॉक्स ऑन रफ सरफेस इफ द पुल अगर वो एक इस साइड से पुश कर रहा है एक इस साइड से तो वो ही लेगा भी नहीं और जब भी ये दोनों इस साइड से कर रहे हैं और ये इस साइड से कर रहे हैं जब भी नहीं लेगा और अगर ये दोनों अपनी सेम वेलोसिटी एंड सेम फोर्स लगा के इस साइड पुश करेंगे तो ये होगा समझे ऐसे ही होगा दोस्तों अब नेक्स्ट में चलते हैं Box with a small force, the box does not move because of the friction acting in the direction opposite to the push, and this friction force acts between two surfaces. In the contact, in this case, between the bottom of box and floor rough surface, it balances the pushing force, and therefore the box does not move. In the figure, the children push the box hard. But the box still does not move. This is because the friction force still balanced to push force. If the children push the box hard and strip, the push force became bigger than the friction force. There is unbalanced force start moving. मैं आज आपको अच्छे से समझाता हूँ जैसे हम बना लेते हैं ये shape और इस side लगाते हैं force. और एक लगाएगा इस साइड तो ये जो है बॉक्स ये कहीं पे भी नहीं लेगा ये बॉक्स कहीं नहीं लेगा और अगर ये दोनों एक साथ इस पर फोर्स लगाएंगे तो ये बॉक्स लेफ्ट साइड में जाएगा और अगर ये बॉक्स है और ये अगर इस साइड और इस साइड लगाएंगे तो ये बॉक्स पता क्या हो जाएगा टूट जाएगा भाई और क्या होगा इसका समझ गए होंगे वट हैपन वेन वी राइड अ बाईसाइकल वेन वी स्टॉप पैडलिंग द बाईसाइकल बिगेम टू स्लो डाउन दिस इज अगेन बिकॉज ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन फोर्स एक्टिंग अपोजिट टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन इन ऑर्डर टू कीप द बाईसाइकल मूविंग वी हैव टू स्टार्ट पैडलिंग अगेन इन दिस अपियर्स दैट एन ऑब्जेक्ट 
maintain its motion under a continuous application of an unbalanced force however it is quite incorrect and an object move with a uniform velocity when the force push push force and friction force act on the object are balanced and there is no net external forces force on it if an unbalanced force is applied on the object there will be change either in its speed or in its direction of the motion thus to accelerate the motion of an object an unbalanced force is required and and the change in its speed or the direction of motion would continue as long as this unbalanced force is applied however if this force is if this force is completely the object would contain the move with the velocity it has actually till then so in 9.2 we will understand the first law of motion by observing the motion of object on an inclined plane galileo dictated that objects move with a contact speed when no force act on them we observe that when a marble rolls down and act now start act on them we observe that we that when a marble rolls down an inclined plane its velocity increases in the next chapter you will learn that the marble falls under the unbalanced force of gravity as it rolls down and attain a different velocity by the time it reaches the bottom its velocity decreases when it climbs up and as shown in figure 9.5 b 9.5 c so first we see this b and c yes you can see when the ball when the ball niche aa rahi hai to niche jayegi aur jab ye upar jayegi to ise jaane mein pareshani hogi kyun ऊपर कैसे जाएगी अगर हम फोर्स अप्लाई करेंगे तो ऊपर जाएगी इस पर हम कोई फोर्स नहीं अप्लाई कर रहे हैं क्योंकि स्लाइड है तो ये नीचे आ जाएगी समझे तो अपने चैप्टर पे लौटते हैं सोन एज मार्बल रेस्टिंग ऑन अ आइडिया फ्रिक्शन लेस प्लेन इंक्लूडेड ऑन बोथ साइड ग्लियो आर ग्यूड दैट वेन द मार्बल इज रिले विद फ्रॉम लेफ्ट इट would rolls down the slope and go up on the opposite side to the same height from which it was released if the inclinations of the plane on both side are equal then the marble will climb the same distance and that it cover while rolling down if the angle of inclining of the right side plane per gradually decreases then the marble would travel further distance till it reaches the organical height if the right side plan were unlimitedly made horizontally that is the slope of reducing to the zero the marble would contains to travel forever trying to reach the same height that is was released for this unbalanced force on the marble in this case are zero the the structures that are unbalanced force is required to change the motion of the marble but not net force is needed to sustain and the unbalanced force motion of the marble it particle situation it it is difficult to achieve a zero unbalanced force this is because of 
precession of friction force acting opposite to the direction of the motion thus it practice the marble stop after traveling some distance the effect of the friction force may be minimum by using a smooth marble and smooth plane and providing a lubricant on top of planes Newton future study Galileo idea was force and motion was presented three fundamental law of the groove and the motion of object these three laws are known as newton laws of motion this chapter law of motion is started as an object remain in the state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless completed to change that state by an applicating force in other word all objects resist a changes in their in quality way may the tendency of undistribution force to stay stay at rest or to keep moving with the same velocity is called inertia this is why the first law of motion is also known as the law of inertia certain expansions that we come according while traveling in a motor car can be explained on the basic of the law of inertia we tend we tend to the basic of the law of inertia we tend to remain at the rest while respect to the seat until the driver appear a brake force to stop on the motor car with the application of brake the car slowly down put on our body the tends of continue in the same state of motion because of its inertia sudden application of brake may thus cause injury to us by by impacting or collision with the panels in front safety belts are when the prevent such accident safely belt safety belt exert a force our body to make the fo- forward motion slower and the opposition expansion is encountered when we are standing in our in a bus and the bus begin to move suddenly now we tend to fall backward this is because the sudden start of the bus bring motion to the bus as well as to our feet it contain with the floor of bus but the rest of our body opposite this motion became of its inertia when a motor car makes a shape turn at high speed we tend to get through to one side this can be again be explained on the basic of the law of inertia we tend to contain it our straight line motion when an unbalanced force is applied by the engine to start the direction of the motion of the motor car we slip to one side of the seat due to the inertia of body the the fact that the body will remain at the rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force can be injuration through the following activities you can see there is one carrom board and when the carrom board this came from the inside and this will go in this from this side it will go this side and from this side it will go and all goes and you will win in inertia and mass all the example and activities given so far illustration that there is registration offered by an object to change its state of motion if it at rest intends to remain at rest excellent अगर आप हमारे चैनल पर नए हो तो हमारे इस चैनल को लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट जरूर करना इट इज मूविंग इंटेंस टू कीप मूविंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड इट्स इनर्शिया डू ऑल बॉडीज हैव द सेम इनर्शिया वी नो दैट इट इज इजी टू पुश एन एम्पटी बॉक्स दैट कैन बी अ बॉक्स एंड बुक सिमिलरली इफ वी if we kick a football it feels 
away but if we kick a stone the same size with equal force it hardly move we may it fact get an injury in our foot while doing so similarly in activity 9.2 five rupee coin if we use one rupee coin we will find that lesser force is required to perform the activity a force that is just enough to cause a small car to pick up a large velocity will produce a negligible changes in the motion of a train this because its compression to the cart of the train has a much lesser tendency to change its state of motion according we say that the train has more inertia than the chart clearly heavy or more massive object or offer large inertia quantitatively the inertia of an object is measured by mass we have thus relate inertia of the mass inertia is the natural tendency of an object to resist the change in the state of motion of the rest the mass of an object is measured in its inertia second law of motion the first law of motion in indicates that when an unbalanced external force act on an object it velocity change that is object get an acceleration we would now like to study how to accelerate an object depending on the each other depending on the force applied applied to it and how we measure a force let us recount some observation from our everyday life during the game of table tennis if the ball hits a player it does not hurt him on the other hand when a fast moving cricket ball hits a spencer it may hurt him let us recount some observation from our everyday life during the game of table tennis if the ball hits a player it does not hurt him on the other hand when a fast moving cricket ball hits a spencer it may hurt him a truck at the rest does not require any attendance when a parked along a road side but a moving truck even at speed as low as 5 meter per second square minus 1 may kill a person standing in its path path a small mass such as a bullet may kill a person when fired from a gun this observation suggests that the impact produced by the force bending on their mass velocity similarly if an object is to accelerate we know that a greater force is required to give a greater velocity in other world words there appears to exist some qualities of important that combines the object mass and its velocity one one such property called momentum was introduced by newton and the momentum p of an object is defined as the product of mass and m velocity u is that u is velocity m m is that so p is defined as product P R O T U C T product equals to M is defined as mass. Yes, and V is defined as velocity. So understand the law. P equals to m v means product of mass. P is equals to the m mass and v velocity. Okay. P is momentum. Momentum has both direction and the magnitude. It direction is the same as that magnitude. Its direction is the same as that of velocity v. 
द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ मोमेंटम इज किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड सिंस द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एन अनबैलेंस फोर्स ब्रिंग अ चेंज टू द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज देयर फॉर क्लियर दैट अ फोर्स ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूक्ट अ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम लेड अस कंसिडर्ड अ सिचुएशन इन विच अ कार विद अ डेड बैटरी इज टू बी पुस्ट अलोन टू स्ट्रेट रोड टू गिव इट स्पीड ऑफ वन मीटर एस माइनस वन डेड बैटरी which is sufficient to start its engine if one or two person give a sudden push and balance force to it it hardly start but a continuously push or some time result is gradually acceleration on the car to its speed it mean that the change of momentum of the car is not only determined by the magnitude of force but also by the time during which the force is extended it may then also considered that the force necessary to change the momentum of the object depend depending on the time rate at which the momentum of change the second law of motion starts that the rate of change of momentum of an object is production on the applied and balanced force in the direction of force mathematic formula of Uh, second law of motion is suppose on on an object of mass m is moving along a straight line with an internal velocity u it is uh, uniform acceleration to velocity v in time the t by the application of an considered force f together the same t the inertia and the force momentum of the object will be p 1 n equals to m u and p 2 n m u represented so the change of the momentum is p2 minus p1 mv minus mu m multiply v minus u so the rate of change of momentum is n multiply bracket v minus u bracket close by t f equals to m equals m multiply v minus u and t f equals to kilometer multiply v minus u t so its answer is k m a here a u a t is the acceleration which is the rate of change of velocity the quality k is considered of propitiation that the m as a unit of mass acceleration r r k z and m s minus square minus square represented that the unit of force is so chosen that the value of considered k became one for this one unit of motion is defined as the amount of production as acceleration of one meter second minus square in an object of one kg marks then one unit one unit of force equals to k multiply one kg multiply one meter second minus square this thus the value of k became um, one from equation f equals to m a motion give a method to measure and the force acting on an object as product of the mass and air acceleration the second law of motion is often seen acting on our everyday life have you noticed that while catching a fast moving cricket ball in field on the on the ground gradually pull his hand backward with the moving ball in the doing the fielder increasing the time during which the high velocity of the moving ball decreases to zero thus the acceleration of the ball is decreases and the, therefore the impact of catching the fast moving ball is also reduced if the ball is stopped suddenly then its high velocity decreases to zero in a very short interval time thus the rate of change of momentum of the body will be large therefore a large force would have to be applied for holding the catch that may hurt the plum and field in the high jump and athletic a crescentally bend on a sand being this is to increase the time and athletes are able to stop after making the jump this decreases and breaks slips eyes with a single blow mai samjhata hu aapko ye kaise hua kaise aapke paas ball aa rahi hai 
तो आप सडनली यहीं नहीं पकड़ लोगे ना आपके हाथ में चोट लग जाएगी सो अगर आपके पास बॉल आ रही है तो पहले यहाँ से पकड़ोगे फिर नीचे लेते जाओगे और फिर वो जीरो वेलोसिटी पे चली जाएगी बस यही है इसमें द लॉ ऑफ मोशन कैन बी मैथमेटिकली स्टार्ट बाई द मैथमेटिशियन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन एग्जाम्पल इन नाइन पॉइंट टू एफ इक्वल्स टू एम ए दिस विल एंड द न्यूमेरिकल वी विल रीड इन द रिविजन वीडियो इन द थर्ड वीडियो इन दई विल मेक इन दिस चैप्टर अ वीडियो ऑफ हिंदी एक्सप्लेनेशन आई एम नाउ आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग इन इंग्लिश एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन इज इन हिंदी दैट इज वेन एफ इक्वल्स टू ओ यू इक्वल्स टू वी इक्वल्स टू यू फॉर द एवरी वन टाइम दट ही इज टेकन दिस मीन्स दैट द ऑब्जेक्ट विल कंटेन मूविंग विद यूनिफॉर्म वेलोसिटी यू थ्रू आउट द टाइम इफ यू इज जीरो देन यू विल ऑल्सो बी जीरो दैट इज द ऑब्जर्वेशन विल रिमेन एट रेस्ट so these are miracles we will do in the next and next third video now we came on the third law of motion the first the first two law of motion tell us how to applicate force changes on the motion provide research to a method of determining the force the third law of motion state that when we one object expect on the force and, and another object that the second object in extent on the force back on the uh, first these two force are always equal in the magnitude but opposite opposite in the direction this force act on different object and never on the same object in the in the game of football sometime we will we will look at the football and trying to kick it with a great force both feel hurt because each application is a force to other and to object what's to determine there is a pair of force and just not one force the the two opposite force are also known as acting force let us consider to the uh, spring balance contain the together as shown in the figure 9.10 the figure rendered by the balance b is attracted with the determination supposed to free spring in a it is the velocity in the same reducing on the their circle it mean that the moving explanation by remaining uh, um, a balloon b is equal but opposite in the direction a and b all the this will attract this is not for this chapter these are numericals So guys i am giving you some homework please comment me these equation answers this is my homework so okay guys let you meet you in the next video agar aapko acha lage to like and subscribe zarur kar dena